Kick them go off. Oh, he like his mama. anymore like squat goes you know hopefully no milk um leaks out during this video okay let me let me fix myself let me adjust myself now okay hey you guys welcome back to my channel Carson you waking up poopy my baby waking up so he's gonna be in this video with me okay he was waking up but he's not waking up but hey guys it's coco welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title today's video is going to be a um labor and delivery story time now originally i had said that i was actually going to like vlog my um labor and delivery and then like upload it but everything kind of happened so fast and just kind of out of nowhere that i really didn't get a chance to do that so, but I do have a clip that I'm going to insert for you guys. So you guys can see, you know, my little poopy boop. That was so extra. But, okay. So let's just go ahead and get started. My due date was September 12th, um, 2017. And around this time, I was about 39 weeks pregnant when all of this happened. So just to catch you guys up, I was 39 weeks pregnant. And my due date was September 12th. So, hold on. I just keep getting messages like phone always booming when you filming but when you're not filming my phone be dead i'm 30 i was 39 weeks pregnant and my due date was september 12th 2017 so that's when i was expected to like have my baby and everything like that but on i want to say yeah on september 6th i had a doctor's appointment and i met up with him and basically when i left the doctors they just basically told me oh okay you're one centimeter dilated so you know not quite ready yet but it should he should be coming any day now so i was like you know okay you know got a little bit more time but um when i they had told me like you know walk and exercise and stuff to kind of induce your labor so i went home and then i had called my mom and told her like what the doctors had said and my mom was like okay well walk until i get there so me and my little sister we went outside and we like started walking around my neighborhood honestly my neighborhood is not big at all so we just kind of walked around there and then i went back in the house to like take a break from walking because like i don't know like, i got tired i was like it's hot i'm tired of walking i'm tired of doing all of this stuff but that is but so during the break that we were taking from walking i was sitting down and I told my sister, I was like, okay, let's go back outside to walk. I stand up to, like, go back outside, and I just could not walk anymore. Like, I stand up to, like, go back outside, and I just could not walk anymore. Like, whoa. All right. You guys, I honestly don't want to know what I was using to sit on. So, I kind of just want to start this whole video over. So that's what we did. We came in, took a break, got us some water, and yeah. So when I was like, okay, pumpkin, let's go back outside to finish walking. Because my mama was like on me about walking. Like, walk, 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 walk. And I was like, I'm tired of walking. Me and her went back outside to go walking. And as soon as I got up to go back outside, y'all, I could not feel like it just hurt so bad it felt like somebody was stabbing me with a knife several times in my stomach so 
like I couldn't walk so I basically fell to the floor so I fell to the floor and as soon as I fell to the floor I was screaming like I was like oh my god it hurts so bad the thing about this contraction is I had been having contractions throughout the entire day but they were they weren't strong enough like they wasn't strong enough for me to call him like my OB they wasn't strong enough for me to like take myself to the hospital or anything they were just regular contractions to me so what I do nothing but um this time they were like completely different they were like it was excruciating pain like when i tell y'all i just felt so freaking horrible that's how i felt if anything makes me not want to have a kid again it's the contractions so yeah i basically was like screaming her name out pumpkin like i'm screaming and crying and she's nine so she doesn't really know what to do because nobody was there with us it was just me and her because again i wasn't due till september 12th so i really wasn't expecting him to come out anytime soon especially since my doctor had told me that i was just one centimeter dilated i didn't expect him to come early so <clears throat> um i'm yelling i'm crying and screaming calling her name she's like running around not knowing what to do so she's called my mom on the phone she's like mama um coco is you know her baby the baby coming i think that's what she was saying honestly i don't really remember what she was saying but i know she was like frantic on the phone with with my mama but it turns out my mom was getting her hair done she was in atlanta so it was gonna be a while for her to come but she was like okay i'm on the way but my sister had, um my sister had just bought her a car that day so we had told her we was like oh come over so we can see the car so yeah my little sister ended up calling my older sister who was already on her way over to the house to show us her new car. Thankfully, she was already on the way because I don't know how I would have, you know, dealt with anything just because I'm having these contractions. I got my nine-year-old sister here with me who can't drive me to the hospital. I can't drive myself to the hospital because I barely can walk. So, thank God my sister was already on her way. But, so she called she's like, Nisha, Coco about to have the baby, whatever, whatever. Like, she's about to have the baby. She's like, freaking out you know nine-year-olds don't really know what to do in that situation shoot i didn't even know what to do in that situation my other my older sister was already on her way thankfully so she gets there and we are on the way to the hospital and as soon as we get to the hospital they would not give me um they checked me and i was three centimeters three centimeters dilated um i actually my water didn't break at home i ruptured it and it actually broke at the hospital like right when i got into the hospital bed for them to like attach all the stuff to my stomach and everything so when we got to the hospital they put on the monitor they put this little strap on my stomach to monitor the baby now mind you i'm still having contractions and all that stuff so they just put the strap on to listen to the baby's heartbeat and the lady told me that they were not going to be able to give me the epidural until i was registered into the system so i'm like dying of pain and they're basically just you know chilling or whatever so um yeah so i'm basically just going through my contractions while she's like registering me getting all my information in checking on the baby's heartbeat heart rate all that type of stuff so then i was about three centimeters dilated when i finally got the epidural and my contractions were happening really fast like they were growing fast and fast and fast and fast like super super fast but when I was around three to four centimeters dilated, they finally gave me the epidural. Now, getting the epidural, y'all, it was like, honestly, it's like really hard to just kind of, because like the doctors in my family were telling me, you know, be still for it. But it's actually really hard to be still for it when you're having contractions. Like I literally was having so many contractions while she was doing the epidural. I just couldn't be still I was just like okay hold on wait a second let this one finish first but then another one will come but we finally got the epidural in and um at the epidural it took about 30 minutes for me now everybody's different but it took th in 30 minutes I felt nothing once I had the epidural all my pain was gone I was like I'm Gucci um now I think like once I had the epidural I was about five to six centimeters dilated and they at this time they actually wanted to slow my contractions down a little bit because my cervix had gotten swollen 
so they gave me some medicine to slow the contractions down and this was still Wednesday now I went in around 6 6 30 p.m. so this was around 10 o'clock now I'm thinking I'm gonna have him like today but because they slowed the contractions down because of my cervix it was swollen and it needed to be thinned out a little bit more I couldn't deliver it then so they slowed the contractions down for me and basically the rest of the night was kind of just smooth like all my family was there it was all just kind of chilling waiting to see what was going to happen next but um i obviously didn't have him that night so the next morning the nurse was like okay we're gonna start pushing around 8 30 and i was like okay let's start my doctor and the nurse came in and they were like we're gonna start pushing around 8 30. so it was around 8 40 when we were like getting ready to push but like as soon as i put my legs up they told you like you know hold your legs and everything i had four people in the room with me I had my mom my dad and my sisters my two sisters that I've been talking about the whole video they were in the room with me now they told us they told me to hold my legs now it's time to push and they told me to hold my legs up and get ready to push it but the baby's head was already out like his head was already out so I didn't as instead of me pushing like instead of me getting ready to get him I had to just push so um, I'm pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing which I didn't feel anything so it's kind of weird because they would tell me like push 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 and I'm thinking in my head like I am pushing like what are y'all talking about I'm pushing I'm pushing as hard as I can push but really um, because I couldn't feel anything I'm thinking what I'm thinking I'm doing I'm really not doing like I'm not pushing at all but he ended up coming out in 30 minutes so I started pushing around 9 8 40 and he came out at 9 10 which was great because I didn't want to be in labor that like I didn't want to be pushing in labor that long but my total labor time was 15 hours but it wasn't bad because half of that time I didn't feel anything so but yeah so he finally came out he was six pounds and four ounces and I had a beautiful healthy baby boy and it was all worth it like it's all worth it in the end I pretty much had a really good delivery a smooth delivery my pregnancy was smooth so I was really hoping that my delivery would also be smooth just because of that which it was and I'm blessed with a beautiful baby boy and so that's my labor and delivery story if you guys have any more questions I am actually going to do like um postpartum I wanted to do a postpartum video and then my baby just turned one month so I'm going to be doing like a one month update video for you guys so make sure that you guys stay tuned for those videos that I'll have coming up and yeah thank you guys so much for watching okay what's hold on I'm, I'm how you just Nisha hey all right she walked in as I'm trying to do the thumbnail for the video I'm a thumbnail you in it? I'm talking about the labor and delivery. What did you think about it? Um, okay. Coco was a champ. Champion. 